Hey, make sure you guys check out our channel sponsor, Gamersubs. Go to gamersubs.gg. Use code Zach for 10% off. Keto friendly, zero calories, zero sugar, zero crash. I use it to keep healthy, to keep energized. Stop putting bad stuff in your body, people. Check out gamersubs.gg. Use code Zach. 10% off. We're going to get started here pretty quick. everybody and i cl i didn't click the right button again there it is right there <laughs> welcome to sunday it's sunday november the 8th 2020 uh it's currently 8 48 p.m on the east coast 5 48 on the west coast 6 48 here where i am i'm gonna do the usual thing where i check out my levels waiting for people to get in here All right, cool. Now, I've been working on this. This is going to be a fun one tonight. Uh, let's see who we got in the chat here, first of all. Mike Jack is back. He's been away for a couple days. All good, man. We got Tech Free Needs. How you doing, sir? Ten of you here. People are filing in. That's good. We are, we're on Twitter. We are on YouTube tonight. This is a, uh, a little extra special uh, stream tonight. Uh, because this whole stream, so let's do some let's do some really quick housekeeping right now. This entire stream, however long it takes, is completely dedicated to reviewing, doing my live review of the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G. That means if you have questions or comments about the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, I will take your questions and comments. We'll read them. If it's unrelated. If it's other tech stuff, I'm sorry. We're not going to get to it tonight. On any other stream, we would. You guys know we 100% would. But tonight's stream all right, all right, all right. is dedicated to this device. So it's just some, uh, like I said, that's just some quick housekeeping right now. Um, the one thing I do want to point out, if you are watching the replay of this, down below in the description, you will find timestamps slash chapters. So you can skip to different parts of this live review. So you don't have to sit through the whole thing and, you know, this and that with the with the slider there. So there are chapter markers or what they call timestamps down in the description. Those timestamps will be put in after the stream is done. If you're here for the live stream, well, sit back, grab yourself a drink. I've got myself some gamer subs. You guys know I drink it all the time, and we'll have fun with this, okay? That being said, that's uh, that's the end of our intro. Another thing I want to point out as well, this is a review device provided by Samsung Canada. 
I do have to re return this device. It was not given to me. It was given to for the purpose of this review. Thank you, Samsung, for providing the device for those purposes. Alrighty. That being said, everybody, let's do this whole, uh, hopefully I don't mess this up too much. <laughs> Just really quickly, before we get into the first transition, the first card here, the first title card, we've got some title cards here, you guys will see. Uh, I just want to say really quick, Ace Rock Gola, how you doing? Tech for your needs. Fit Blonde Fitness, hope you guys are doing. And we got uh, Jesus, how you doing? All right. Heading into the review. If I can find the button. I've been, I've been working on this all day today. <laughs> all right. Here we go. And the, f and the first thing we're going to talk about tonight is the build quality of the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G. The build quality. All right, so build quality, ladies and gentlemen. I've got some notes here. I don't have a, a script or anything. I do have some specific notes. If you've been here over the last couple of weeks, you're going to hear a lot of the same stuff kind of repeated, maybe some more details. So hopefully uh, we can, uh, you know, hopefully I can bring something different for you guys, some different value. We also have some uh, different angles as well. So, you know, let's go down here and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE right here. We got the, uh, I guess you want to call it the, the table cam. I guess we'll call it here. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this gives you guys a little bit different angle here. So first of all, yes, this is a plastic back. Um, I've heard some people use a description of glastic, okay? I don't know what glastic is. <laughs> it's supposed to be a combination of plastic and, uh, and, and, uh, and glass, but I have not found that kind of wording from Samsung. It's plastic, okay? It's a polycarbonate, whatever you want to call it. Does it feel, you know, cheap? Some people might describe it as. No, I would not call it that at all. It does have these nice aluminum rails along the edges here, okay? Along the bottom, along the sides, okay? And the buttons are metal as well. It does have a nice cool finish and cool feel to it when you pick it up, okay? It feels very solid and it is very heavy. Uh, I believe around 190 grams. I'm gonna double check on that. Yeah, 190 grams or 6.7 ounces, okay? So it does have a nice weight to it. Now, that being said, plastic is not your thing, then fine. But you need to think about durability. If you're the kind of person that puts like a skin on their on their phone, if you're the kind of person that uses just a thin case, this is going to be a great option for you. Um, now, fortunately, because it is a loner unit, I have not dropped this phone at all. Okay, so uh, you know I, I can tell you just from every wear and tear, throwing it on the desk, um, things like that, um, you know, and whatnot, just like how normal people do, come home, throw on the table, whatever it is, uh, it's held up quite well. And in fact, I'll give you guys another angle here. Um, if we go back to uh, the table cam here, I have not had any surface scratches or anything like that at all. Everything is held up very well, as you guys can see here. Okay, and I'm very happy with the with, with the build quality. And like I said, you know, plastic may not be your thing, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but I think we need to stop discounting plastic or polycarbonate devices, okay? It does have a nice matte finish on the back here as well. You're not gonna pick up a lot of fingerprints. You can see this right here. Yes, you will notice smudges after a while, but it's not like a regular glass back, okay? So the nice matte finish, you know, very nice to have as well, all right? So overall, I'm very happy with the build quality here. Now I am gonna check the chat here really quick to see if there are any questions about the build quality from you guys. And we can definitely, you know, 
get into that get into that stuff as well uh, Mike Jack saying did you get any scratches on the screen not that I've seen um, again I work from home I'm very careful with my devices there's no screen protector on here um, so I don't see anything yet I'm very aware of where I put my devices I don't generally put them face down I don't put my phone in the same pocket as keys or anything like that so you know I don't see any uh, any any harsh scratches on here I don't see any scratches at all and I'm just gonna verify really quick because I want to make sure I quote the right type here all right I cannot find out which type of glass is on the front here but uh, if everything else in terms of the build and whatnot is any indicator um, you know the glass is held up quite well as far that as far as I could tell so far okay we got Andy Wong from Hong Kong how you doing sir Andy I did turn down some of the volumes on some of those cards and everything like that so hopefully it works out better for you um, now it's interesting that uh, Mike Jack says that pretty soon plastic is going to be water resistance well um, I, I'm not sure if you mean this exactly this at all, but we will get into this when we get to the other features and whatnot. Uh, but the device is IP68 water resistance, okay? So you can take a dip in the water, uh, a splash, obviously, dust and things like that. Now, I personally have not tested those features because, again, it is a loaner review unit from Samsung. Um, but again, Samsung has paid for that third-party uh, you know, testing. Should be perfectly fine. You don't put IP rating on something Unless it actually has that, right? So, um, Ace, uh, Ace Barakalo has a very good question. Does it feel hefty, hefty compared to a glass uh, aluminum body? Um, okay, so to put it in per comparison, it feels very similar to my Note 10 Plus. Again, another Samsung product here. Uh, the Note 10 Plus is about 6 uh, grams heavier at 196 grams. This is 190. Um, so it feels just as solid. Like when I squeeze the S20 FE and I'm holding it in my hand like this it's got some good weight to it it's not I wouldn't consider it to be a heavy device but to comp cons uh, compare to some other plastic devices on the on the market ones that use plastic builds and whatnot this this does not feel like plastic in terms of weight right you can tell they put a really good build in here okay anyway I'm gonna switch you guys over to back over to the uh, to the table cam here and we're going to move on to our next section here and that next section <laughs> oh man live live television right <laughs> that next section here well where it is where is it where is it there is it there it is we're going to talk about this right here We're going to talk about the display, the screen. All right. So to be really clear, I know a lot of people are used to seeing this uh, with Samsung products. This is not a quad HD screen. This is an FHD screen. Okay. It is a six, uh, sorry, there's a 6.5 uh, inch full HD, what to call it, a uh, full HD plus or FHD uh, plus infinity O screen. Infinity O being you got the cutout up here for the single camera. Okay. Now, you guys also saw there with the screen, it is an in-display fingerprint sensor. It is an optical sensor, so it is quite quick. Okay, so you can have the screen on or off. Just put it on there, and boom. Okay, we're unlocked. Boom. Activated the camera. So again, there's, a, there's the selfie camera right there. You guys can, well, you might be able to see me. <laughs> it's a little weird. I, I'm over here, I promise you, I'm over here. Anyway, um, so it is an FHD screen, and it looks beautiful. Okay. I'm personally used to the quad HD screens that you typically see on the note devices and whatnot. I have not noticed a difference unless I'm specifically watching, you know, HDR type content, content where I'm kind of looking for those deeper shadows and things like that. Okay. But I'm going to give you guys an example here. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around here for you guys. And I'm going to give you guys an example here of some YouTube we're gonna do I'm just gonna type in the word HDR 
And I'm going to pick the first one here. And I'm going to turn down the volume here because I don't want to get in trouble. And I'm going to purposely change up the quality. So the max on here is going to be 1080. Um, excuse me, 1080p. Okay. This right here, and hopefully this is translating for you guys well through the uh, through the uh, table cam here. That's F that's uh, that's HDR content on YouTube on this FHD screen, and you guys can see in usual Samsung fashion. I mean, it's a beautiful screen. Now, of course, I've got that extended all the way out. Okay, so there's your original. Oop, there's your original. And we'll bring it back out. Okay. It's been an enjoyable experience. I have not had a bad experience with this, watching all sorts of content. I've been watching YouTube and Amazon and Disney Plus. I've been watching uh, uh, Netflix and, you know, any other type of streaming service I could put on here. Okay, and it looks phenomenal. It looks phenomenal. Okay, now that being said, just go ahead and close this off here. Let me switch back the screen here for you guys, so you guys can see my my beautiful face. Uh, that being said, you do have the options of 60 hertz and 120 hertz refresh rate. Okay, um, I cannot demo the refresh rate for you guys here on screen. But just trust me, it does add for a more enjoyable scrolling experience, especially when you're scrolling through social media, things like Twitter or uh, Instagram, for example. That smoother screen, 120 hertz, is magnificent. And I'm going to say going forward into 2021, if, if you really want to be part of the game, uh, be bringing your, uh, bring your 120 hertz to the, to the yard. <laughs> uh, you need to be able to do this. Um, by all accounts, the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G is a quote-unquote mid-range, if you will, device. It's not their flagship. If this is what you're getting in a mid-range, everybody else should be able to do this in their mid-range, and if not, their their flagship devices, in my opinion. Okay. Um, yes, you will take a bit of a hit on the battery, but when I get to the battery portion of tonight's review... You know, I'll tell you guys more about that and what's actually been happening for myself. Okay. Colors are punchy and vibrant, as you guys saw there. Um, again, it's just been an overall very good experience there. It's just the it's the usual Samsung quality that you come to expect. There's a reason why other companies source their panels. Okay, um, because they're awesome. <laughs> as you guys saw there, very enjoyable. Now, let's take a look at the chat here. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Digital sign. Screen looks great for 120 hertz. You can't beat it for the price. Is that cold for you, Zach? Okay, so obviously Fitblon saw the temperature here right now. Uh, yeah, it's cold outside right now. It's minus nine Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. So uh, go ahead and do the do the conversion. <laughs> it's uh, it's cold. We got snow outside. I think I took some pictures. When we get to the camera portion of the review, I will definitely talk to you guys about that okay all right that being said let's get into the next portion of our review and here we go We're going to talk about the battery. So there's not much to really show you guys on screen here. Uh, everybody's use experience is going to be different when it comes to battery on a device. Uh, just to reiterate, specs and whatnot, the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, uh, S20 FE 5G comes with a 4,500, 4,500 milliamp battery. Okay, I've always said that the sweet spot for most Android devices seems to be 4,000 or more. Uh, where I'm getting all day. And by all day, I mean this. I, I took the phone off the charger today at uh, 7 o'clock. And by 4 o'clock, uh, 4.30, I was around 33%. 32 or 33 33, 33 or 32 percent. I was in, the, I was in the, uh, the low 30s there. So very happy. Now, the device does come with a fast charger. comes with the power brick or the power adapter. And you, get, you do get a USB-C. USB-A cable in there. 
I plugged it in for 30 minutes and I talked back up to, what am I at right now? 60%, okay? And that was in about 30 minutes or so, okay? Um, on top of the battery as well, we'll talk about this a little bit later as well. You got wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. So you can charge other people's devices with your device. That's pretty great for a mid-range device, for a value device like this. Um, you will get a different battery experience. Obviously, like I said before, whether you're using with the 120 hertz or the 60, for myself, like I said, I'm getting through the majority of my day until about dinner time. You know, I pop it on the charger, the wireless charger, and then I'm good to go for the rest of the evening. Okay, it's nice to have that fast charging and also fast wireless charging. So those kind of things do make a big difference. All right, so uh, I'm really glad that Samsung put the the bigger battery in there. Uh, I do not I do not find the device overly thick. Sometimes when you get a bigger battery, sometimes you get a little bit thicker. It's about the same thickness as my Note. I didn't find any difference. Sometimes when you pick up a device like this, um, sometimes when you pick up different devices from the same manufacturer, sometimes the thickness is a little bit a little bit more depending on the size of the battery. I did not find that with this at all. Okay, very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. All right. Now, what's the one thing that everybody talks about when it comes to a cell phone? It seems like we're always talking about this feature, and rightfully so, because it's how we interact. It's how we show what's going on in our social media lives. Let's move on to the next section here. Section 5. Is this Section 5? Like Section 4? <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. Cameras. We're going to talk about the cameras. This device has four cameras, the four incredible cameras. Uh, I just want to I want to show them to you guys here real quick using the table cam again. So on the back here, let me get to my notes. I want to make sure I quote you guys properly here on the back of the device. You're going to get three cameras. You're going to get a 12 megapixel F 1.8 26 millimeter wide dual pixel optical image stabilization an 8 megapixel 2.4, so f2.4, 76 millimeter telephoto lens with optical image stabilization and three times optical zoom and a 12 megapixel f2.2, f2.2, 13 millimeter ultra wide lens. What does that mean? Great photos. That's what that means. The selfie camera up here is an amazing 32 megabits, uh, megapixels, megabits, megapixels. MP. <laughs> it's amazing 32 there, okay? At, at f2.2 and it's 26 millimeters wide, okay? I was able to get uh, some really, really great photos here and we're gonna definitely go through that, okay? Um, now, some people may not be too crazy about this camera module here. You guys can see how it really lifts off the device. You guys can, can you guys see that? Hopefully it focuses in, there we go. See how much that lifts off there? So yeah, when you do put it on a table, it does wobble a little bit. It's nothing, I mean, I didn't find it bothersome. It's definitely a much smaller camera module than we saw, for example, in the S20 Ultra or the Note 20 Ultra, okay? Um, but again, Samsung's gone for this chunky thing here and I dig it, I like it, you know? It actually kind of feels kind of good when you rub your fingers along there, everything like that. You know, you know where that camera is. You know where that camera is, okay? Look at those aluminum reels, look at that. Nice. All right. So let me show you guys uh, some camera examples here. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch this out. And I'm going to show you guys a little album I made here. All right. So these right here are photos I took with the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. Uh, I did not use any special features except for well where I will point out. In other words, I didn't use the pro mode. Um, I just used the full autofocus point and shoot kind of thing. I have a really cool hyperlapse to show you guys, but uh, let's get into this. So this is kind of the first photo I took here. And uh, there you go, full screen, all right? So this is, this is not the live focus 
or the fake bokeh, if you guess you want to call it. This is just straight out of the camera, taking a picture of my GamerStop's cup here. You know, everything kind of came through nice and clear there where it needs to. Focused in, you can see the scratches on the on the cup here. You know, the detail is coming through there. All right. Same thing with the microphone that I'm using here. Again, this is just auto. This is not the live focus. This is just straight, you know, focusing on the mic and away we go. So we got a nice natural kind of blur along the edges here and then going down. Okay. Um, I thought the detail was quite good on here. You can kind of see a little bit of dust. I'm not sure how there's dust on my microphone, <laughs> but there's dust. Okay. A um, few days later, went out and took some photos with my son there. This is using the ultra wide going directly into the sun looking east okay again usual samsung type of colors nice and punchy vibrant some people would describe it as oversaturated for myself personally i find the photos enjoyable okay so um you know it really kind of comes down to our preference right now if there are questions in the chat i do apologize if i'm not getting to you guys because uh, we are doing the review here, but I will get to your questions and your comments after we're done the camera uh, section here. Okay. Continuing on, again, ultra wide there. Good detail on my around my son here. Again, of course, when you go with an ultra wide angle and you and you zoom in, you're going to immediately lose some detail, and that's kind of normal there. So, uh, but again, nice and wide there. Did some selfies there before we got our haircuts. Now, this is using the live focus, okay? This is the live focus, um, just natural light, sunny day. And you can see up around the hair, it's all really good. It got my glasses, even though I, glasses, even though I have a clear frame here, okay? I don't have anything along the bottom. Sometimes I find that this is cut off. It's getting all the hairs. You can definitely see the aging. And there's my cat. That's There's Loki. Uh, I just happened to capture a picture right when he was i think he was yawning or something but it came out pretty good um but unfortunately you can see along like it didn't quite capture the tail here um and this is probably a byproduct of him not sitting still which can happen okay but overall i'm, I'm happy with uh, the way the fur looks contrast here between him and his perch and everything like that okay halloween night took some photos again low light low light here uh, this is our kitchen you can see the inside of the pumpkins here you can see the flame from the uh, candle and I thought these came out quite well this is using just the regular mode again autofocus there is no uh, live focus going on here or anything like that okay same thing here this came out really I really like how this came out um, with the low light and everything like that this is the pumpkin my daughter did good job okay this is using the selfie cam in the car. Now, the selfie camera does suffer from some low light issues. Um, it definitely, it needs light. If you're taking photos using the selfie cam, the 32 mega, uh, megapixel um, selfie cam, you definitely wanna have enough light on yourself, okay? Um, you can just see, you can see a little bit around the hair here and whatnot, and you guys will see that in some other selfies here as well. Uh, my wife did a zoom in on this building. You can see the a bit of the HDR kind of kicking in here with the shadows and whatnot. Okay. This is using the 30 time zoom from across the river. And I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys where we originally set up. Uh, again, it has up to a 30 time zoom, uh, but you can really see the artifacting and you know how it kind of breaks down there. Again, this is and this is with a uh, this is with a tripod as well. Okay. So we were set up as you can see here, like way across. So that Weston building is right here. So here's the Weston, right? And then here's the building right here. So that gives you an idea at 30 times. Okay. So again, Weston here. And then here's the building right here. Okay. This is looking uh, east. The sun was setting at the uh, at the time in the opposite direction here. And I'll show you guys those photos. Got some good pictures with the kids here. Again, like I'm happy with these. I'm very happy with the quality or thing. It's uh, it's really good for the price point. Um, 
Okay, so we decided to drive downtown to our next spot here. My wife was taking pictures with the phone again. Uh, you guys can see the Calgary Tower here. Buildings on the left and right, obviously. Um, here's the Calgary Tower. So keep your eye on the Cal Calgary Tower here, and we'll show you guys some of the zoom as well. Um, so here she zoomed in. I'm not sure how many times. I think she's uh, maybe that might be a three time. Uh, here's the ultra wide, again regular, and then she zoomed in really closer as we got closer. And you can see the detail. You can see the they have like one of these glass floor things and everything. And the reds are coming out quite nice in the Calgary Tower there and everything. So now we uh, went over to our next spot here, uh, Scotsman Hill. Again, this is looking west as the sun was setting. That ultra wide, uh, you guys can see the Schnook Arch here with the clouds. It just came out really well. You know, you got the the grass here overlooking uh, Stampede and Ep um, and Max Park. Okay, you can see that uh, orange coming through from the sky when it was, uh, the sun was setting. Saddle Dome again. You guys can see the zoom. So here's the the ultra wide. You can see the Saddle Dome right here, and then. As we kind of come in, as we really zoom in, again, you can kind of see it kind of breaking down a little bit. Um, but again, if you were posting to social media and whatnot and not zooming in, I think it would be adequate. But again, that's that, you know that's up to you to decide, really. So, so downtown. Again, uh, came in and zoomed in a little bit on downtown here. And you guys can see, uh, you know, the, the building's kind of begin to look a little pixelated here and there. Again, it's not terrible. This is the uh, time lapse that uh, I was shot with it. Now this is a, what they have a feature in there called hyper lapse. This was taken over the course of 10 minutes. So it takes a photo every, uh, it takes a photo every minute. So over the course of 10 minutes, again, we'll play this again. Pretty incredible, right? That hard red in the sky there when the sun was going only lasted for about 20 minutes or so. So there was a ton of people up there taking photos and whatnot. You can see people and things like that moving down fast down here. Again, this is the hyperlapse mode that's on that comes with it with the camera. Okay. And I'll go through the specs as well of the video camera as well. Okay. So pretty happy with that. All right, continuing on, you guys can see here with the red. Uh, and again, you can see because of the lower light, how the photo, oh, let me just escape this. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, you can see how some of the photos, uh, like if we go back here. So we had more light here with the saddle dome. You can see the red on there. And if we go forward, when the sun started going down here, Again, a little bit of breakdown, right? Okay. Here, the sun is pretty much completely down. The buildings downtown have turned on, uh, all the lights and everything like that. Pretty good. I, th I think with some cleanup there and in Photoshop or whatnot, you know, not bad. And another selfie with me and my son. So there we go. There, there's the camera experience there that I had with this device, okay? Um, now as well, on the video side of things, the uh, S20 FE 5G uh, does have a 4K 30, 4K 60, 1080p uh, 3060, and there is an HDR 10 plus setting in here. I only discovered this a couple days ago and I did not get a chance to really uh, give it a chance, but there is an HDR 10 plus setting in here. Um, something I would definitely want to try out down the road though, okay? But overall, fantastic photos. I thought they were punchy. I thought they were great. I mean, if you're posting to social media and this and that, they're going to be perfect for that. I mean, if you're a professional photographer or you're in the you're, you're hardcore into mobile photography, uh, you may or may not look at this based on how much information is being you know caught by the sensors and what's going in there. Again, hopefully, uh, the examples I've shown you guys, you know, help you out there if you're make, if you know if you're considering picking up the device. Overall, I do have to give it two thumbs up though. All right, before we move on to our next section here, uh, and we only have a couple more sections as well, people. Um, I do want to get into the chat here and say hi to a few people. So again, I apologize if you've been sitting around waiting for me. This is a full review uh, stream, okay? And again, they are there will be chapter markers or um, as they call them, um, 
timestamps down in the comment section if you're watching the replay. Uh, Mike Jack says, do you think the FB is going to take out the A line? No, I don't think so. Uh, because Samsung's always had multiple different lines for different demographics, different areas around the world and whatnot. So I don't think so at all. Um, I hopefully we see more FE devices from Samsung going into 2021 because, um, you know, spoiler alert, <laughs> fantastic device, right? Mike Jack says, that picture looks good. Thank you. Uh, yes, it is a flat panel. I, I, I don't think I pointed that out, but yes, it is a flat screen. Uh, there is no edges, so it is completely flat, uh, but your finger does run over the edges quite naturally and is curved along the back here. So where the phone is, where you hold onto it against your palm, it is curved, but the screen itself is completely flat, okay? Which is really quite nice. I know a lot of people are not fans of the waterfall or curved edges, so. We got El Heffy reviews here. How are you doing, sir? Do I know what the fast wireless charging rate is? Uh, I could not tell you, Ace. I'm sorry, I did not look into that, but I can tell you that, uh, um, you know, it feels like it's the same as my Note 10 Plus. Like I typically charge my Note 10 Plus with wireless charging. So I find the rate to be the same. I can't see why Samsung would put a reduced technology in there when it comes to wireless charging, especially when you have fast wireless charging. So as long as your fast wireless charger can support fast wireless charging, um, I believe is 15 watts or higher. Um, you, you'll get that on the device. You'll get that on the device. We got Bender Tube. How are you, sir? That was a cool B-roll clip. Thank you, sir. Maybe I'll play it again. <laughs> All right. So, got lots of people saying hi to everybody. And Ace digs the pictures. Look nice. Awesome, man. Appreciate you. Uh, so Ace, I did not do any comparisons against other devices. Um, maybe go back and look at my reviews of other devices to see, to kind of compare there. So, um, all right, guys. So we just talked about uh, the main camera. Let's move on to our next section here. Or sorry, we just talked about the cameras, just say like cameras in general. <laughs> Let's move on to our next section here. Other details. All right. Other details. So what do I mean by other details? I mean everything else that everybody else talks about at the start of their of their reviews uh, that I want to throw in here because these are important details, but they're done so well that you don't really notice them or you really question that. And, uh, and, and trust me where I'm going with this, okay? First of all, flagship specs in here. Flagship specs, okay? Um, Snapdragon 865, 128 gigabytes of onboard storage, six gigabytes of RAM. That being said, I know there's going to be some people that are going to say, well, only six gigabytes of RAM or only, you know, so much storage, whatever. Uh, I did not experience any slowdowns. I did not experience any stuttering. Uh, nothing like that at all. Things saved, things downloaded just as quick as with my Note 10 Plus as with uh, any other flagship device that I have used this year. Again, that is my experience, um, but I'm running, and to keep things in perspective, multiple Twitter accounts, multiple Instagram accounts, Facebook, uh, five different emails on there. Uh, I'm taking pictures, I'm, I'm, I'm taking videos, I'm doing all sorts of stuff. I'm doing everything on this. <laughs> if I'm not on my laptop, I'm doing it all on my Android device, okay? Um, thank you, Jermaine. Jermaine likes the, Jermaine likes the B-roll. <laughs> um, but some other details as well. Out of the box, you're going to get Android 10, One UI, uh, which is Samsung's overlay, uh, 2.5. Now, Samsung has committed recently, as of this year, they have said they've committed to three years worth of updates. So that's software updates, that's continuous security updates. So in the past, we've only seen usually about two years. Sometimes we see the, uh, the security updates continue, but they've committed to th uh, three years of updates for your device. When it comes to your apps and whatnot, that will be up to those different developers, okay? One of the really cool features on here that I found, and this might be new to Androids. I don't know, it's something I just discovered, 
But when I was playing back video, even video that I took, there is a closed captioning system built in there and the words come up on the screen. So that's really cool. Um, I've only discovered that with a couple other Android devices. Really, really neat. Uh, like I said, guys, no touch or, st or touch issues. Uh, there were some complaints in the past when the device first came out that there were some touch and uh, phantom touch or touch issues or whatnot. I'll tell you this, the moment I turned on the device, the moment I turned it on, I had an update, a firmware update, update right, right away, and on there listed were uh, touchscreen issues or touchscreen. When touchscreen was listed on there or touchscreen fixes, okay? So as soon as you turn on this device, you should get that update, okay? As soon as you log in and whatnot. Um, so it should be no problem at all. As I talked about before, IP68, that's dust and water, 120 gigabytes storage, six gigabytes of RAM, NFC on there, so you can use the Samsung Pay, you can use your Google Pay. Um, I personally, uh, I used both over the weekend. Perfectly fine, no problems at all. Uh, wireless and reverse wireless charging. Comes with the charging adapter, comes with the cable in the box. Uh, and I, we talked about this during the unboxing experience. I think it's a really great box. It's got these little emojis and logos and things like that all over it. And I appreciate when a brand puts that kind of detail into stuff. Good job. Now, I want to show you guys this as well. Because sometimes colors don't translate very well on screen. So the device is available in six different colors. This right here is the cloud navy color. Okay, but there's cloud navy. There is cloud lavender, cloud mint, cloud red. That red, I like that red. I dig that red. Cloud orange and cloud white. So again, cloud navy, cloud lavender, cloud mint, cloud red, cloud orange, cloud white. Let me know down in the chat or the comment section here which color you would pick if you were to pick up this device. Let me know which color you guys like, okay? And that's all I have for other details. <laughs> that's all I have for other details. Let's go into the chat and see what some of you guys are saying, okay? Let's see what you guys are saying. Geonosis is digging the B-roll. Thanks, guys. I I put some extra work and things like that into that. I wanted to I wanted to do something for different for a stream rather than just talking and this and that. I wanted to give you guys some different angles and things like that. In fact, I should I should take more advantage of this of this other angle right here. There she is right there. By the way, T5 drives are awesome. T5, love them, love them. Ace digs the uh, the mic picture that I showed you guys earlier. Awesome. Awesome stream. Thank you, LF. I appreciate it. Glad you figured out a way to do this live. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's going to, you know, when I do, if I do uh, more live reviews like this, I'm definitely going to be putting this kind of in because if you're going to be doing live stuff, you know, bring a different element, right? Ace says the, uh, the stream sounds awesome. Yes, and Mike, you're absolutely right. There is no headphone jack on this device. So uh, definitely worth pointing out. I'm glad Ace reminded me that it is in the next section here that I was gonna talk about, but there is no headphone jack. No headphone jack, unfortunately. Jermaine digs the, uh, he digs the blue, not so much the red. Ace likes the red as well. All right, everybody, let's move on to the next section here. And uh, I need to find my the button. <laughs> All right, the last section before we kind of wrap things up. Here we go. All right, so issues are things to possibly watch for. I am happy to say there was not a lot because ultimately you have to look at the price point of this device. The Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G is priced at 699 US. 
depending on where you go through different carriers or different deals, you might be able to get this for $5.99 or even less. Please check with your carrier or different sellers online. But the MSRP on this is $6.99. Now, that does not give it a pass on things. But for its price point, for what is packed in here so far, for everything I've listed and shown all you guys so far, wow. But there are some little things here and there. And I'm just trying to find my notes. There they are. <laughs> there they are. So uh, earlier I talked about how there were some complaints uh, when the device first came out about touch screen or phantom touch issues. I've only experienced that once, okay? And what it was is one of those things where, uh, you know when you're using a device and sometimes you might be hovering your thumb over? I think the screen thought I touched and I didn't. Again, that's only happened once and that was after getting the update. I've been using it for a full 10 days now, full time. It has been my main device for over 10 days now. Um, no issues at all, other than that one time. So I do not think it should be an issue for you, again, because of that firmware that did come down. Okay. The vibration motor. I want to show you guys this. I'm going to give you guys a full demo here. So I'm going to just switch up the camera here. All right. So let's go ahead and unlock this. We're going to go into our settings here. There's something called vibration intensity. Okay. down here vibration intensity when you first get this device notifications and touch interactions the, these vibration intensities will be turned down really low I don't know about you but for myself I like to have this turned up because I like to have that feedback I don't like the sound when I'm typing but I didn't find the vibration as strong on here as I do my note and for that reason um, you know, I had to turn up the vibration on there after I got the device. So something to look forward to. I know some people like to keep their phones, you know, silent most of the time. So definitely something you want to definitely look at when you first get the device. Okay. Um, on the back of the device here. Now I typically hold my phone like this just out of habit because I got big hands. Guy that got the corner down here in the palm, palm right there. Sometimes because I got long fingers, sometimes I would touch the camera module and sometimes I would get a smudge on there luckily Samsung software is uh, smart enough to say hey clean your lens if you've ever used a Samsung device in the last few years it knows when the lens is dirty uh, when you're using the camera it'll tell you to clean the lens it'll tell you to uncover the lens you may find that in you may find that that interferes here and there if you got big fingers big uh, big long fingers or big hands again that's a personal thing and the plastic build I did watch a couple other reviews of this device today uh, just to see if a lot of people had the same sort of issues or whatnot. I see a lot of people, like I said at the start here, uh, a lot of people complain about the plastic build of this device. Uh, don't knock the plastic. Do not knock the polycarbonate. It makes it more durable. It makes it lighter. Uh, and whatever Samsung has done here, like I told you guys, with the aluminum rails here and everything else, the metal buttons, uh, it's very strong. Okay. Personally, I'm okay with a plastic build uh, for a device like this, especially at this price point. Um, glass is glass, as you guys all know. Glass scratches, glass breaks a lot easier. This should be able to take a good tumble, okay? I didn't do any drop tests because <laughs> I have to send it back, but it should be good. All right. And that's it, everybody. That's the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE Fan Edition 5G Review. 110% uh, would recommend this device and uh, you know tremendously good job here by Samsung really 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 impressed uh, as the title of the, of the of the video says maximum value right here you are going to get maximum value with this you will be very happy with this um, if you're into the Samsung you know um, system whatnot if you're into Android obviously okay um, like I said, not a lot of concerns or red flags. I wouldn't even, there was never any, I wouldn't even call those issues red flags at all. Um, just tremendously put together. And Samsung, hope to see more of these from you guys. So I will take some questions or whatever from you guys, uh, if you guys have any more.
questions or concerns or anything you want to ask me about this device in the chat right now. And then we'll wrap things up. Uh, Constant, a good question here because I never, I didn't actually test this. Uh, did you find, how did you find gaming on the FE a little slower registered, uh, registered touch? I need to disable the game optimizer services to get better response. Okay. So Constant, I'm not a big gamer, so that's not something I did. Um, so I do apologize for not getting that. If I do get more time with it, um, you know, hit me up on Twitter and ask me in a couple days here. Uh, but I can definitely try that. Uh, but as for everyday usage, like I said, with multiple Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, email and whatnot, I did not experience any slowdowns, but I did not test the gaming because I'm not a gamer. I wouldn't know what to test or whatnot, but I can tell you Samsung probably would not have put 120 Hertz screen in there if they didn't have confidence in the gaming. And the fact that there's an 865 Snapdragon in there, um, that should speak to it. That should speak to the capabilities of what the device should do when it comes to gaming. So, Did I notice any battery difference uh, when I turned up the vibration? No, no, not at all. It's just more of a feedback thing when you're typing and whatnot. So if you're like me and you like that tactile feedback, uh, definitely turn that up. Five hundred four. I'm not sure what you mean by MST. If you can clarify that, uh, Doodle says here agree. The feature clean lens on Samsung. Yeah. So I I think that feature first came in with the S9. I did have an S9 Plus. I really did like it. it worked out really really well. All right, everybody. So one more one more look here. Again. Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 5G maximum value everybody really very impressed good job with this good good job and I forgot where to click <laughs> there it is right there all right everybody I appreciate everybody being here uh, this evening that's been the review. If you're watching the replay, replay, like I said, look down in the description. There are links. Uh, sorry, there are timestamps and chapters. So you go ahead and skip around. Appreciate you guys all being here. Uh, we're This is day eight of 30 days in a row of streaming. So we will be getting, uh, you guys will be getting another stream tomorrow. Um, probably the same time, sometime in the evening. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you guys later. Make sure you guys give the uh, stream a thumbs up. And I appreciate you guys all coming through tonight. Uh, have a good night. <laughs> Take care. Cheers.